welcome back to the SST classroom. How are you all? I hope you all you all are fit and fine. So, my dear children, today we are going to discuss about the lesson already we started, lesson four, Plateaus of India. Now, in the last video, we discussed the Peninsula Plateau, the state which comes under the Peninsula Plateau. We discussed first about the northwestern part. Right. So today we are going to discuss about the north eastern part of Peninsula Plateau. We are going to see which states comes in north eastern part of Peninsula Plateau. So let's have a look. So states which comes under the north eastern part of Peninsula Plateau are Chhattisgarh. Parts of Orissa, West Bengal and Jharkhand. Got it my children? Now if we talk about the, now if we talk about the Chhattisgarh. So to the south of Chota Nagpur Plateau. We discussed the Chota Nagpur Plateau in the earlier video. So to the south of Chota Nagpur Plateau, it lies the Chhattisgarh. Which state lies to the south of Chota Nagpur Plateau? Chhattisgarh. Now the land is very the land in this region means in northeastern part the land is very fertile. And because this region is very fertile, basically because of the river Mahanandi. Thus, in this region, farming is the main occupation. So here this state is uh, the crop which is grown in this region is Rice, linseed, and watermelon. And also, this northeastern part, uh, rice is also called the football of India. It is also called the football of India. Why? Because here the rice is grown in a very plenty. So, because of that, it is also called the rice ball of India. Because rice is grown a plenty in this region. Got it, my children? Now, let's talk. We'll talk about the, the next step is a Odisha. Now, Odisha, it lies to the southeast of Chhattisgarh. So, where it is lie? Southeast of Chhattisgarh. Now, Odisha is famous for its textile weaving and silver work. Now here it is also known for its hand, handicraft, silk, cotton and handloom product. So mostly in the Orissa, the people they speak the language. Their language is Oriya. Their mother tongue is Oriya. And mostly in the Orissa, the women they used to wear, they used to wear sari and in the traditional, in the traditional, traditionally the women like to wear saris in blue, red, magneta and deep colors. Got it my children? But I spoke about the Orisha and now here the Orisha, the, here the, there are many temples. So the famous temple in Orissa that is a Puri in Jagna, most of the people all over the country they come and visit this famous temple. Got it my children? But I uh, talk about the Orissa. Here Orissa is famous for, famous for its textile, weaving and silver work. Got it my children? And mostly it is also known for its Handicraft, silk, cotton and handloom product. And the women, they used to wear Oriya Sari. And traditionally, they used to, the women, they used to wear Sari uh, which is in blue, red and magneta and deep in colors. Got it my children? So now let's talk about the next, that is the West Bengal. Now we will see where the West Bengal lies. It lies to the east of Bihar. Rice, jute are the main crop of this state. And the other crop which is grown that is 
preserve wheat, maize, potato, tobacco, barley, etc. are the important crop which is growing in West Bengal. Now, traditionally, you will see what dress they used to wear in the West Bengal. You know what is the traditional dress of West Bengal? That is the Bengali sari. Now, men usually wear dhoti and kurta. And here the people in the West Bengal, they speak which language? That is Bengali. Got it my children? Hope you have understood about the West Bengal. And here the festival which celebrate that is the famous festival in the West Bengal. That is the Durga Puja. My children, hope till here you have understood about the northeastern part of Peninsula Plateau. We discussed about the first, we discussed about which state we are, we discussed first. We discussed about the Chhattisgarh, Orissa and West Bengal. Now one more state which is also there in the northeastern part that is a Jharkhand. Got it? Now the Jharkhand, the state, here the mostly uh, this state is founded by the Chota Nagpur Plateau. And here the Jharkhand is also rich in minerals such as coal, iron ore, manganese, etc. Now what I talk about the northeastern part, the coal, this is uh, famous for the mineral. Even the Chhattisgarh, the Jharkhand, you will see the minerals are grown in which that is a iron ore, coal, manganese, etc. Hope you have understood about the northeastern part of Peninsula Plateau. So what you have to do my dear children? Read the textbook. Underline the important points. Thank you.